Welcome to a journey through some of the world's most intriguing wonders. In this video, we will explore three extraordinary places that arouse the curiosity and wonder of those who visit them. The Barabar Caves are a set of rock-cut caves in the Indian state of Bihar. These caves are of significant antiquity, dating back to the Mauryan period, making them the oldest rock-cut caves in India. They are known for their inscriptions, some of which date back to the period of the Mauryan monarch, Ashoka. These caves are located on Barabar Hill and the adjacent Nagarjun Hill, with some considered as a separate group of caves. They were carved from solid granite bedrock, and most have two chambers. The first would have hosted large gatherings of devotees, while the second contained a stupa, a mound-shaped structure containing relics. The architecture of these caves is especially notable due to the Maurya polishing inside the chambers, which produces a distinctive echo effect. This effect would have had an impact on the worshippers gathered in the caves, adding a spiritual dimension to the experience. Dungy Womp is an archaeological site near Groton, Connecticut, in the United States. This place is famous for its numerous stone structures, although there is no agreement on their age or function. Various hypotheses have been proposed about its origin, from Native American constructions to European colonial constructions. One of the most striking hypotheses suggests that the Gunjiwamp structures were built by Irish monks between the 6th and 8th centuries. This claim is based on the presence of similar structures in Ireland and the legend that these monks sailed across the Atlantic to avoid the Vikings. However, this claim lacks solid evidence and has been the subject of controversy among scholars. Michael Skellig it is one of two UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the Republic of Ireland. This place is home to St. Fionan's Monastery, one of the country's first foundations, located on a stunning rock off the coast of Kerry. The monks who lived at Skellig Michael prayed and slept in beehive-shaped stone houses, many of which still stand today. In the 13th century, the monks abandoned the island, and it became a place of pilgrimage and refuge for Catholics during the penal laws. To follow in the footsteps of the monks, it is necessary to climb 618 high and uneven steps. Getting to the top can be difficult, but it is worth the effort. In addition to its rich history, the island has a tremendous abundance of avian life. Little Skellig, a nearby island, has the second largest colony of gannets in the world. Fingal Caves The fog that occasionally envelopes Staffa, an island eight miles west of Mull in Scotland's Inner Hebrides, is as thick as the mists that hide the truth about Fingal. Was he a colossus or just a man? Was Finn Mac Cumhale, the Irish hero, a Manxman or a Scotsman? And what is his connection to the remarkable grotto on the south coast of Staffa? Approached from the water, Fingal's cave seems too beautiful, too architecturally planned to be natural. A heart-shaped hole 42 feet high and surrounded by the same hexagonal basalt columns that line the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. One of Scotland's first tourist attractions, it is a meeting place for celebrities such as Wordsworth, Keats, and Turner. This is because Fingal's Cave has another feature which is reflected in its Gaelic name, in Wayne Bin or the Music Cave. The crystalline acoustics created by the basalt columns and vaulted ceiling led Mendelssohn to compose his Hebrides Overture, a marvelous work of mysterious art. Laban Chimney A 100-foot-tall red brick chimney stands on a rise in the north of Labuan Island, off the coast of East Malaysia. In terms of chimneys, it's nothing special, just a square brick tower with two arches at the base and a beautiful cornice at the top. But why it was created has baffled archaeologists for decades. Various hypotheses have been proposed to explain its purpose, from being an incomplete house to a lighthouse or a bell tower. The most likely explanation connects the chimney to previous coal mining operations in the area. 
According to experts, it was part of this new brick manufacturing facility. Andromeda Theater There is a rare area suspended between the ground and the stars in Santo Stefano Crescina, in the province of Agrigento, Italy. It is the Andromeda Theater, a mirror of heaven that is not yet widely known by most people, but offers a unique show. The construction is well lit by natural light and there is no evidence of artifice or electrical aid. Everything has been designed to integrate with nature, providing a unique spectacle where time seems to be suspended in an endless interval between the present, the past, and the future. Elephant Rock If you venture into the Valley of Fire State Park in the southern Nevada desert, you can see a rock formation that resembles an animal thousands of miles away. It is known as Elephant Rock and has a body similar to that of an elephant, complete with a super long trunk that reaches to the ground. Best of all, it only takes about 500 meters of light hiking to reach it from the trailhead, making it a great place to visit for people of all physical abilities. The Devil's Tower we will travel directly to the North American state of Wyoming to enjoy an authentic, peculiar, and enigmatic geological wonder, the Devil's Tower. This formidable rock formation has become the protagonist of the territory it occupies, classifying it as a national park. The Devil's Tower is located in the middle of large, completely flat plains, being a monolith of volcanic origin. Its perfect shape and size make this rock formation, which seems to have appeared out of nowhere, the main attraction of Wyoming. Despite its modest height of only 386 meters, mountaineers who can ascend to heights of up to 8,000 meters are not able to scale it due to its practically vertical walls. Climbing to the top and, even more difficult, descending, becomes an almost impossible challenge. Although its origins are not entirely clear, recent studies suggest a volcanic origin, explaining its shape as a result of the cooling of lava to a specific temperature. Be that as it may, this rocky skyscraper is an ideal place for fans of the mysterious. The Underground Church of St. John Our next exciting story takes us to France, more specifically to the idyllic town of Odin. Here is the monolithic underground stone-carved church of St. John, which delights historians and tourists. According to what scholars have discovered, the church was originally designed to house valuable religious objects that were kept in a reliquary and protected from thieves. In the following centuries, the St. John church was also used as a cemetery. Some historical sources suggest that the workers who carved the church directly into the limestone rock were inspired by the returning crusaders who brought back stories of underground temples and treasure chambers. Although the baptismal font in the center of the church was probably designed between the 4th and 9th centuries, it is possible that the church did not receive its final form until the 12th century. Stunning Hidden Imaleo Glacier these fascinating images seem to come from another world. With a serene glow shining from below, however, they are very earthy and were taken in the shadow of K2, the world's second highest mountain, during a dangerous three-week trek in the Himalayas. Filmmaker David Klikowski explored a remote ice field with a drone. The stunning images capture the changing Concordia, where the Baltoro and Godwin Austin glaciers meet in Pakistan's Karakoram Range. According to the filmmaker, the place was unique, disappearing, melting and changing shape daily. No one would photograph him this way again. Error, better known as the Swedish Stonehenge, is a strange group of stones located in southern Sweden, consisting of approximately 59 granite blocks weighing 5 tons each, placed in a ship-shaped ring 67 meters long. It was created about 1,400 years ago and its historical function is still unclear. According to legend, it could be the burial site of a mythical king, and carbon dating indicates bodies from 5,500 years ago could be beneath the surface. However, some experts suggest that the monument was used to observe the lunar cycles and follow the summer solstice.
The reality is that no one knows for sure. Manahuna Rock Formations Known as the Seven Strong Men, they are found in the remote northern Ural Mountains, reaching a height of 42 meters in a flat landscape. Although they resemble ruins of a lost civilization, they are of natural origin, formed about 200 million years ago by the erosion of ancient mountains. Revered by local indigenous people, these formations have also sparked spiritual experiences in some visitors, who report a sense of contentment and loss of desires during their visit. However, the arrival of tourists, who sometimes climb the rocks, has generated tensions with the locals, who consider this a lack of respect. Visitors are advised to maintain a hands-off attitude when exploring this remote location beneath the Arctic Circle.